us. It was a great day out there, mm -hmm. although I'll admit it's a little bit on the windy side. Okay, all right. It's that's, fine, though. I'm not complaining. It's your only complaint, though, right? I'm not even complaining Wait about a that. You're not allowed. Yeah, we're not allowed <laughs> to have complaints uh, after the day uh, we just lived through. I will say this. I started to see a little of the yellow pollen flying around. So this is what happens this time of year when we get warmer temperatures. But Peshaw, as uh, people down south used to say, sunny sky, 63 degrees. Also, PNC will have fans in seats tonight at the hockey game. That's kind of a big deal. That's something to get excited about, especially since the Canes are playing so well this year. 60s up and down Central North Carolina. These numbers will not be back, though, for about five or six days as we have a dry cold front coming through tonight. Now, as that front is pushing in, it's kicking up some wind. So notice our wind gusts in excess of 20 miles per hour in some spots. And notice they're also coming out of the north. What's to the north? Colder temperatures. And you will feel that by tomorrow morning. So as we go hour by hour overnight, still no clouds, no rain. Again, it's a dry frontal passage. And after getting into the 60s today, we'll be in the low 50s by 8 o'clock dropping quickly through the 40s overnight as our winds calm down and then we'll start Friday morning around 32 degrees. So there's the front on the surface map. Again, there's no rain with it. Radar, satellite, they're all on. I mean, there you can see some rain up toward the top of your screen, but none for us. Front comes through though. There is some cold air behind it. This comes from Canada. Usually cold fronts that come from Canada don't have a lot of moisture, but have a lot of cold air with them. Cold fronts from the Pacific or the West Coast, not much cold air, but a lot of rain. This one is from Canada, and you'll tell tomorrow. Not only will we have a freezing start, but temperatures will struggle to get up to 50. Same situation this weekend. We'll have cold mornings, we'll have chilly days, but there'll be plenty of sunshine. Finally, we will start a warm up. Once high pressure starts to push east, our winds will come more out of the south, and that means we start a warm up. Now, it's not going to be 80 or anything on Monday. It's going to take a while, but we do eventually have 70s back in the forecast. We do not have that tomorrow. Tomorrow will be colder, won't be as windy, but our temperatures will be anywhere from 54 in Pinehurst Friday afternoon to 53 in Lillington and the rest of Harnett County. Out east along I-95, it'll be anywhere from 52 in Rocky Mount to 53 in Smithfield. And again, after seeing highs today of 67 degrees, we'll be more than 10 degrees colder than that tomorrow as highs in the triangle struggle to get into the low 50s. So your extended forecast, we are about ready to go into the longest stretch of dry weather we've had so far this year. Continues tomorrow, but with colder temperatures. Low 50s Saturday and Sunday as well. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday all about the same. There's your warm-up beginning on Monday with a high of 57. 60s Tuesday and Wednesday. Again, no rain throughout all of that. And your 10-day forecast has two important things. 70s returning next Thursday and Friday. And not this weekend, guys, but next weekend is the weekend we change the clocks. We spring forward one hour. I'll remind you about 700 more times between now and then.